You've got some flesh growing spare? Well, let me you I'm going to throw this in as oh. well. Okay. So uh hello everyone, this is Aura Water. Welcome back to some more Pandora's Tower. I was actually gonna make a quick stop to um the first tower. Not the first tower. Yes, the first tower. Because I need to go get some tough pelt, and uh, yeah, Mavda decided to give me some quality metal. Well, well. And now she wants reading material. Alright, so, um, give me just a hot second. I'm gonna go get that pelt. I'm sorry. Did I say the first tower? I meant to say the second tower. Um, I did want to come up here to see what was up here. And unfortunately, I don't have the keys for any of this, so it's not gonna really matter. Now, if you give me just a second, I need to go kill some wolves. Elena's outside. Um. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm alright, Elena. I am alright. Look, Aaron. The flowers have started to blossom. Oh, wait. You actually planted the seeds? Aaron, these grew from the seeds you gave me. <gasps> hey, look. That purple flower is absolutely gorgeous. All these other flowers, too. I've never seen any of them before. It'd be nice to fill this garden with flowers. But I'm happy just to have these. Okay, so that was a little unexpected cutscene, but you know what? That's that's fine with me. <laughs> oh, I need to get her some more flowers. Holy crap! Um, I know where you introduced myself, but that was kind of more of an impromptu introduction. So, hello everyone. This is Our Water. Welcome back to some more Pandora's Tower. I feel like I'm repeating myself like a cuckoo clock. I can't believe I died. I actually died trying to get the stupid pelt. You've got some no, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually forgot to give some amount of flesh to Elena because for whatever reason, the wolves just did not want to drop the pelt. And I forgot that there is some pelt that's just kind of lying on the ground. I think that's how I got it. But uh, yeah, I do have a little bit of flesh. I don't have beast flesh. So that's a little depressing. Your face was a picture when we were looking at those flowers, Aaron. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. Ah, uh, right. Ooh, the flowers. I wonder if we'll get a few more flowers in the flower bed. Oh, I can get, I can get them to you right away, honey. I'd love a whole garden full of beautiful flowers. All right. I know you don't want to. But you're gonna have to eat this, cause I'm oughta screwed up. And I- that's all I really got for you. Holy, wait! Wait, I thought dripping flesh was worse than beast flesh. What the hell? Why didn't I just give this to you before? Thank you, Aaron. I'll take this inside to eat. I don't know why the game keeps on doing like a zoom in every time she eats that. It's a little bit weird. But you know what? That's fine. So it's time to open All right. Now what I wanted to do at the start of this episode was Garnet made of beast hide is durable has an off-putting odor. Uh that's not the one I wanted. What I wanted to make is all the way down here. The tanned leather, which expands my bag. What creation? Hmm. Yeah. Seems that went well. All right. 
I need to give this to Elena when she wakes up. I'll, I'll probably stay by her bedside and wait until she wakes up. In the meanwhile, I could have crafted a freaking tough letter. Are you are you kidding me? Oops. I'm gonna make one of these because I feel like I need it. Um, is there anything else I can make right now? Mm, nothing of any good. Ooh, rainbow scale. With seven colors glimmering, the scale is as striking as any gemstone. <gasps> I can give this to Elena. I need one more tough scale. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Crap. Oh, that's depressing. Um, Goddess Tears? Oh, right, this is the corrosion thing. I don't think I need to make anything else. I can make a diamond! Ooh! Oh, can I actually upgrade in my weapons right now? Choose a weapon, choose a way to forge. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's wonderful. What do you have to say? I'm sure you've seen all that ore in the sheer drop spire. The most precious is the ore that shines at night, said to be formed from solid sunlight. During the day, you can't tell it apart from regular ore. So have a hunt for it after night falls. Huh. I didn't know that. I will you wanted? check that out in between episodes. It may not be my place to say this, but be good to Elena. Talking to her is all well and good. But you can also give her gifts from time to time. There's no sense in making things any harder for the poor girl than they already are. <laughs> yes, Mavda, I know. Is there I... Oh, oh, actually, speaking of gifts, stock today. I'm gonna buy some more flower seeds that for Elena. I will also buy another blue that drape because I really like blue. Listen. It's also cheaper than a red drape. And a defang bomb? Oh, hello. I guess I'll also buy this. I really shouldn't be like throwing my money out like that. Okay, so I'm gonna sleep and I'm gonna give Elena all of that stuff when she wakes up. You know, that kind of breaks my heart when you do it like that, Elena. Okay, come here. Is I have gifts to give you. Do you think soldiers used to live in this observatory? It seems to have been built just for observing the towers. It isn't very homely. Wait, what are you talking about? This is very homey, indeed. Or at least I think it's a little homey. I suppose it's up to us to make this place a bit more livable. Alright, so I have a lot of things to give you. First, I'm not going to give you the homemade cakes, god no. That would be very rude of me. I have flower seeds to give you. Thank you, Aaron. I'll sow these and try my best to grow some more flowers. And then next, I need to give you... Oh, I never noticed if the uh, beds had the blue drape on it. Oh, this is the same cloth you gave me before, isn't it? Did you bring me another one because I couldn't choose what to make last time? Thank you, Aaron. That's really kind of you. I'll make a tablecloth this time. Yay! I'm gonna have I blue everything. That bed cover I was making. Did you see it? I thought I did a really good job. You'll let me know what you think, won't you? All right. I need to actually see that bed cover because that would be nice. Um, next thing I need to give you is the tan leather. Oh, good. If you give me your bag, Aaron, I should be able to use this to make it a bit bigger. I'll just put this here, and then... No, not there. Right, and this over here. Done! It might look a bit awkward, but you can fit a lot more in it now. Yay! Alright. That's good. Oh, she did change the bed cover! Oh, it looks so nice! Ooh! 
Oh, I can't wait for her to finish up the uh, tablecloth, if that's the case. Uh, gushing aside, <laughs> gushing aside, uh, I do plan on going back into the third tower. I only need to make a quick stop on the second tower just so I can- I, I'm really mad because I didn't realize I can get base fangs from those stupid wolves. But I can go ahead and sell that later. Um, I digress. I only went to the second tower just to get that tough pelt. I don't think, think I even had the materials to make any any tough felt myself. I forgot to give you this. I'll give you this in just a moment. This can also expand my bag. Are you kidding me? Uh, haha. <laughs> I I could carry around the sword, but I think I'm gonna hang on to the what? No. I oh I can't freaking put this in the trunk. Are you kidding me? That's depressing. Okay. So, bear that in mind, and make sure you upgrade your bag before getting more weapons. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give her the quality metal, and I'm gonna give her the potted plant again. Thank you for everything, Aaron. Alright. So, first this. Are you really giving me this? It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, she's happy about that. I need you to expand my bag again. Ah, oh, I think I can use this to attach a pouch to your bag. You could use it to carry medicine. Now, I'll fasten these two parts together, then make a hole here, and sew these flaps. Done. There you go, Aaron. You can carry some more things in your bag now. Okie dokie. I... I'm slightly annoyed that it takes me about 10 minutes to actually prepare to go into a tower each episode. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to, but there is a lot of things I need to do. So, if that's the case, if I can fit a lot more, I'm gonna bring in some of this medicine then. Cause I don't have a lot of, uh... I don't have any more... dried berries to reuse up. I think I only have one left. So that's a little awkward. I think that's all I need to bring, actually. Well, bye Atlanta. I am gonna go out in the wilderness and uh, hopefully not die. It is really, holy crap is it dark. Oh, that's gonna be wonderful. I could drop by sheer, drop spire, but I kinda wanna get through the third tower. I just need to remember to stop by the second tower when it is nighttime. Okay, so in the last episode, we did get that waterfall up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look on where we can go from there. I think we can go up to that door that had the gears now. Because the water wheel's not working. So we need to chain ourselves up here, run away from that guy, and just uh, kind of hang around. Just uh, hanging around. Not doing much else. Ah, uh, now here's the question. How do I get off of it, this thing? The last time I got off, I managed to grab onto the ledge. This time, I think I might need to latch onto something. Maybe. Yes. No. Ooh, can I latch onto that? Yeah! Okay. So, if I remember correctly... I think the door might be on the other side, in which case that's not a big deal. I can get over there pretty easily. Oh, I just realized the entire water, or the entire path is wet right now. Wonderful! Holy crap! Okay, so I definitely do need to get on the other side. Um, yeah, give me a hot second while I wait for this water wheel to go all the way back down. Hey, come back here! Come back! Oh, fine, I'll just wait for the- there, there's no- there's none over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh. Oops. Sorry! Um, yeah, so I- I got to the other side with the pulley on the first floor. And now I'm over here on the other side with the gear door. I'm actually really mad I rhymed like that. Holy crap. Alright, so going through this door, we can progress further, hopefully get into the next chain. This just leads back to the stairs. Is there 
third set of stairs I'm unaware about? Or actually, I think this might be disconnected from the stairs below. Yes! Yes, it is. Oh, what is that sound? Oh! You were asleep! I, uh... I'm very sorry for waking you up like that, sir. Let me just apologize with my twin blades, alright? Come on, come on! Okay, I'm... Needing- I need to get used to these other weapons some more, like holy crap, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, you're gonna be asleep for a while. Which is fine, but what I need to do is chain you! Or, you know, just give me the weapon! Just need to deal with you carefully. Please don't hurt me! No, but seriously, what are these things? They have little wings on the back of their back. And they look like grotesque creatures of the night. Okay, beast flesh. Ooh, what is this? Permafrost! Oh, good. I don't know if I need this right now, but you know what? Uh, that fountain's dried up. Well, wonderful. Ooh, a sap bomb. Two sap bombs. Wonderful. Uh, I leave? My fish? The guards on patrol looked rather bored, so I decided to show them the fish I am researching. You should have seen how pale they went when they saw the monstrous thing. I wanted to surprise them even more, so I explained something of this beast's extraordinary power to them. Its speed in the water, the force of the water it spits... Um, are you talking about those really big things that was spitting water at me? And one of the guards piped up and says, That's all very well, but if you fish it out of the water, it'd be helpless. Yet our guards laughed, mocking my enthusiasm. I asked them if they would care to give it a try, and they soon shut up. It was all- it was all most enjoyable. I can't wait to show off this fish again soon. Okay, maybe it's not what I was thinking about. Weird. Oh! These fishes! Hi! Hello! Oh, freaking hell. This is gonna be annoying. So if I- ha, ha If I recall, these little sharkies, um, they'll they'll actually dash out of the water trying to attack you. What you're supposed to do is pull them out of the water with your chain and just beat the crap out of them. Um, I think you will have to kill them before- ah, ha, ha, Before, uh, trying to uh, latch onto these floating rocks. And dealing with them. Ooh, shard of Vinity. Wonderful. So I'll be doing just that. Ooh! Well, there's the last tough scale for that rainbow scale. Oh, hello. Second like research report. Wellspring Steeple Master. Master Master Flesh Movement. This master can shift its master flesh across the body by way of fissured organs in order to defend itself against foes. Counterattack ability. It can spray powerful jets of water from around the organs on its body at any foe that approaches. It also has organs that can release venomous foam that weakens enemies it touches. This living fortress is well worth observing. Okay, now the question is, will I even be able to get to the master this episode? I don't know, but I'm taking this guy out! Come on! Get out here! Buddy! Ah! Okay, I'm sorry! Holy crap, man! Okay, no, seriously, how do I get these fishies? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There it is! Aha! Come here, my friend! You shall be my friend, and I will call you fishy. Or, you know, you could be dead. That works too. You give me a tough scale? No, you're gonna give me beast flesh. Um, I think I'll be good. I'm gonna take the risk. I'll be fine. Everything will be fine, right? Right? There's a pulley. What do I do with the pulley? Ooh, hello. Okay, I need to, like, angle myself properly and make sure I'm facing the right way! I pressed the wrong button. Ooh! Ah! Well, that didn't work out. Uh, let me try that again, shall we? Yeah, so I don't actually like the, uh, swinging things here because if you 
keep on trying to spam it a few times, you're gonna accidentally turn your character around! Am I supposed to, uh... Is there a way for me to go up and down that pulley by any chance? Maybe. I'm not gonna give it another shot. I'm I'm gonna see... Ha! Huh! Where else I can... Where we go right now? Hello, I'll take you. Oh, but that's where the door is! Oh, nerds! Fan freaking to Oh, crap. Ah! Okay. Okay, I actually do need to go there. That's absolutely depressing. Uh, hello! How you doing, friend? How you doing? I need you to come out- Oh, you know what? That works, too. That- that absolutely works just as well. Uh, oh, I don't need to go that one. That was the one I was trying to go to. Let me go to this one. No, no, no. Uh, crap. Okay, can I do this properly? I don't know. Ah! You jerk! Maybe you're the one that's pushing me down. I don't know at this point, but you're dead. Okay, no, seriously, what am I doing wrong? I have to be doing something wrong. Oh, did it just turn daytime now? It probably just turned daytime. Alright, let's try this again. If, if if this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Oh, there we go. Uh, it, it just took a little bit of swing, but I eventually got it. Okay, so the second chain's about to be broken. Here's the issue. I don't know where the master door is. This is gonna be a little bit awkward. I'm assuming it's one of these other pathways um, up this room. Hopefully. Alright, so with this, we should be getting an air cutscene. No? Okay. Uh, that's the case. Oh, crap. Okay, that didn't hurt me. Thank God. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. I remember seeing a pulley up over yonder. I just need a rock. Come on. Where's the rock gonna jut out? There's the rock. Because there was- I did see a pulley over this way. Let me check it out. Ah! Oh, there's something shiny over there. That's... I can't grab any of that right now. Okay. So I just need to adjust myself. And then swing! Back and forth. Swing! And swing! There we go. That, that's a freaking door. That's super depressing. Wow. Okay. Not where I need to go. If that's the case... That's not a good sound. Uh, up this way, perhaps? Wait! Wait! No, 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 no. <laughs> it's over this way, isn't it? There we go! Okay. No, 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 no. Stop. Aaron, stop moving around. To. Oh, am I gonna overshoot it? Ah! A little bit. I can't actually go in there. That's quite saddening. I believe this is where I need to go. Yep, this is exactly where I need to go. Wonderful. I guess I can get the boss done. Though, I do remember. Is there anything on the other side? Not one way to do, but I'll throw you. Okay. You guys have... Or, you know, that works too. Okay, so before going in there, I do remember there's, some, there's something this way. I don't know if it's of any importance, but I'm gonna go check real quick. I have enough time. Oh! Well, that's gonna help me. I'm really glad that fish didn't hit me. Alright, so this is an elixir that's a mess, and so I'm gonna keep this over the mess, and just in case I need it, I probably will. I don't remember how much this guy's gonna hurt me. I actually don't remember what this guy is. Oh no! It better not be like the mask- er, not, not the mask. It better not be like the boss in Majora's Mask! 
That would be unfortunate. Oh, I remember this thing. Oh my god, I definitely remember this thing. Let me just pick this up. Is that all? Alright, so the gimmick of this boss, if I remember correctly, it's Master Flesh will be moving around the shell. You can kind of see in this kind of river-like pattern, but there's also this thing which I think will electrocute us or just be kind of a trap for us. These are turrets, if I remember correctly, that we need to deal with, but uh, this is freaking annoying. Master Flesh needs to come over here so I can drag it out. Ah! Yeah. Um, that hurt. So what we need to do is ah, not do that. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, what we need to do, we can destroy the turrets with our chains. So ch a good chain shot should do it. However, they will come back over time, so please be careful. Ooh. Oh, come on. I know the turrets you can destroy. Apparently it doesn't want to be like that. Alright, there goes one. There we go. You get to be very specific. Because this thing is one giant shell! Did not mean to do that. Ow! Ho oh, oh. ho! Uh, what just broke? Yeah, safe to say, this, this is not one of my favorite bosses, because, uh, ow! I'm doing quite terribly at this. Alright. Here's the Master Flush. I didn't even do a single damage to this thing! Oh! Oh, shoot! Right, that's what that thing did. It is essentially like, electricity! Yeah, so if you... If that thing actually gets to your chain, it'll travel along the chain until you break it! Woohoo! This is not gonna be fun! Come on, 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 come on! Uh, almost, almost, almost. My gauge is pretty high, though. So if I can get to the Master Flesh real quick. Come on. There it is, there it is. I said there it is, come on! That really hurt. I'm going through these like candy. Holy crap. Uh, oh. Oh, I don't like the fact that you're floating now. Um, that's really awkward. Alright. Uh, nope, nope. Oh, it's actually homing. Because I saw that thing making a beeline for my chain. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, crap. Nope. I don't really have a good strategy for this, unlike the other two. This is a little saddening, but you know what? That's fine! Okay. Oh, we have more turds around here. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, animation locks are also a thing, because if you're freaking locked in an animation, then you won't be able to dodge. It's actually really annoying. Like that. Alright, alright. You, out of my face. Okay. Come on! I just wanna grab your sweet master flesh, alright? There we go. I can't grab it anymore. There's you two. On the bright side, it's halfway down. Oh. Oh, this thing has legs. Oh, this thing has legs. Oh, good god. I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Okay, I really need to uh, be a little bit more careful. Oh god, now you're hitting multiples. Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 sweet Christmas. Alright, Master Flesh is over there. Please be careful. Come on, come on, come on. Keep on falling, keep on falling, keep on falling, keep on falling! Oh, it's almost dead! It's almost dead! Can I hit it? There we go! God, this was annoying! Sorry that was 
wasn't really talking in that, but holy crap did I have to concentrate. Whew! You hurt! Alright, well, Master defeated. And now I have extra chain. The master has been defeated and the chain has regained some power. Well, time for me to get out of this hellhole. Oh, please tell me Elena's not transforming right now. Please tell me I kind of got out of that in the skin of my teeth. Oh, thank god. Okay. I don't think she has transformed yet because my affinity bar is still yellow. It has not turned a terrifyingly purple. If that's the case, before I give you the Master Flesh, I'm actually gonna... Well, fine! I was about to say I was gonna go to Mavda and go pick up something, but you know what? That's fine. I finished translating that text you gave me, Aaron. Oh! Uh... All right. Um. Well, I need to get you another translation, and we're gonna talk about the chains of destiny. It seems the Vestra used to be revered throughout Illyria for their mysterious powers. I wonder what happened to reduce them to living like this. I don't know, but real quick, I'm gonna read this before I give you this master flesh. All right? Just, just hang on a hot second. Note being translated. Okay. Elena's translating that. What is... Is this the one? Yep, it, this is the one. Far beyond the dawn's light glimmers, illuminating our blessed, bountiful earth. Actually, I think this is the one she translated before and I forgot. The great mother of us all. I pray to her as dancing light plays over her verdant forests and lush meadows. That sweet melody as clear as the summer sky is like a beacon that guides us as we open the door to each new day. We offer up our joy and gratitude. Let our memories and dreams live on through endless time, endless horizons. I pray to the ocean, father of us all. Let sweet song as radiant as the stars shine a light to guide us as we open the door to tomorrow. Let that maiden smile fill the meadows with light. Let her sing internally, bringing us joy without cease. I vow to give you eternal love. Let us be bound together in joy as the sky is bound to the earth as we pass through endless time. So I guess this is like a marriage vow? Um, no, I think that's the one that she just translated. Or maybe it might be this. My teacher firmly believes that when it comes to fusing items together, you should experiment with every combination you can. I took a leaf out of his book and discovered that those strange grains from the Great Temple could be used to make potent healing items. Even if you have a rare or unusual item, my teacher always believed that you should try combining it with other items. The alchemist guild may not agree, but if you don't experiment a little, how are you ever going to make any new discoveries? An, alchem an al alchemist who doesn't mix all he can mix is as worthless as mercury. <laughs> wow. Okay, I think that was like a sick burn towards me for not experimenting. Nerds to you too. Oh, you're tired. Well, I'm I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to eat this, honey. Thank you. I'll have to eat this to lift the curse. There's nothing I can't make. Boys will be boys, I suppose. <sighs> it's the spitting image of you, with that blonde hair of his. I was never this naughty, of course. I'm so happy. Me too.
I'm not sure why, but somehow I feel so happy. Has she been dreaming again? I did a little research, you know. You reported back on your findings in the towers, and we put our heads together. We think these dreams are linked to the monsters from which the master flesh comes. Oh, that's uh, not what I remembered. Okay, what are the masters? Well, now. The Masters are a sort of living weapon created half a century ago. Living weapons? Right, Aaron doesn't talk. This observatory and the Thirteen Towers were once used by the army of Illyria. They experimented with making weapons from living things. Alright, so then why is Elena dreaming? Is it because she has a curse? Well, that is a good question. But I'm afraid we don't have the foggiest idea. Okay, then what about the scar? The scar is the deep valley over which the Thirteen Towers hang suspended. What exactly is the valley? How did the valley come to be again? Or was it just a freak accident? No one knows what lies in the depths of this valley. The rumor has it that it's connected to the other world. Alright, then what the heck is this other world? It's not hell or heaven, right? It's a world no one knows the first thing about. Or so they say. Okay, then what about the ta Wait, the tower items? The weapons you find belong to the Illyrian army. Then there are items from the other world. Other world items can only be found in the Thirteen Towers. They're highly prized by some. Wait, did I pick up any of these other world items yet? <laughs> so keep bringing them back. Wait, what items are we talking about, Mavda? Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll be going. Well, now I am thoroughly, thoroughly confused. But that'll be the end of this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna take a look at the basement to see if there's anything down there. I'm gonna go talk with Mavda and see if I can craft anything or buy anything. And then we're gonna stop by with Elena before heading off to the fourth tower. This is Zor of Water, signing out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>